Okay, so um, what if you've got someone you know who's suddenly being very ungrateful um, and where is the place of forgiveness and um, and um, what do you do? Well, for myself, um, everything depends on the context of where one is in the spiritual journey. I mean, I think there's two things that I would say on that. Um, if there's stuff coming up because a person has suddenly become ungrateful, there is a thing of one aspect is spiritual discernment, and that would depend on the lesson that's be being presented uh, at the current level of consciousness. So it can be different. But generally, sometimes there is a, a spiritual discernment as you let go of grievances and identification and, and do, do forgiveness or release or observing. Uh, it becomes more clear whether to release, also to release that interactions with that individual or to stay with that individual. Maybe the, the, the guidance is coming that uh, to transcend them and maybe a miracle could happen. It uh, just depends on the lesson that's being presented. In terms of forgiving someone who's ungrateful, um, uh, let's say one has known somebody and they've turned to being really ungrateful and it seems quite unpleasant uh, to be around them, then um, I would say um, the forgive. Well, you know, for me, the, the thing with forgiveness uh, is on a on a spiritual level is for transcendence. So you're letting go of any ego identification with the story until it dissolves and you can no longer it no longer comes up into consciousness. It's more like they disappear. So whether you're you're doing a course lesson, God is a love in which I forgive this person, as the Course in Miracles actually says, you know, once you what you're doing is as you're applying the lessons, is you're shifting up the levels of consciousness. So you see it differently at each level. And at a certain level, uh, how you see yourself and how you see them is at such a level that there is nothing to forgive and there is no story or identification with any story. It's dissolved into the light. So um, that for me is how I do it, transcendence. So you can, uh, depending on the guidance that comes through as you let go, you may release them and just keep applying the course lessons or the observer, whatever it is, until that no longer occurs for you, until they've disappeared and been deleted out of your consciousness and so you can no longer remember them uh they're gone so you wouldn't need to apply the lessons or um if you stay with them then it's a thing of just um uh you know applying forgiveness or or um applying the observer or whatever it is spiritual practice you do until there's a shift in consciousness until um if, if it is to stay with them until there's no longer any significant friction, uh, until there's nothing there or there's only love there. So um, that's something I did with my mother, as I, um, which was, it took me five years to transcend my mother and the relationship uh, transformed into a very unconditionally loving uh, relationship until she died. So I can see that me holding resentments against a person stop them from transforming into uh, the relationship transforming into an unconditionally loving one that seemed to be the lesson in that one even though it took a lot of uh, a lot of clearing in that case or with some others you know that are not necessary it might be just to let them go and just clear whatever is left in in the consciousness until that person is deleted from from consciousness um i sort of see the whole world you know the whole world is a lesson until it's no longer a lesson, meaning it's no longer something that comes up to, to work on, i.e. it's dissolved or transcended or no longer occurs as a significant um, thing that can be identified with. Okay, so I'll stop there.